welcome back to my channel. I'm Jenna and today we're going to be continuing our KKW fragrance collection extravaganza. If you didn't see my first video, I did a array of KKW fragrances. I did one fragrance from four different collections within the KKW line, but today I am going to be focusing on the Diamonds Collection. The Diamonds Collection is a line she did in collaboration with her sisters, Chloe and Courtney, the three Kardashian sisters from that family. And they've actually had two releases of the Diamonds Collection. The first Diamond Collection came out in 2019 and that consisted of the white diamond or just diamond for Kim, the yellow diamond for Courtney, and the pink diamond for Chloe. Now the yellow and pink diamonds from that first collection is currently sold out and it seems like it has been sold out for a while because it is very hard to find them even from third-party sellers and when you can find them they're extremely marked up. I did not want to pay the price for those fragrances because they're like 80, 90, 100 dollars or more per perfume. The yellow diamond for Courtney was called an oriental gourmand but I did not bother to write down the fragrance notes since we're not reviewing that fragrance. And similarly, the pink diamond for Chloe is um, a floral bouquet. Doing it. Maybe at a later date and time, if those perfumes come back in stock or I find good sales on them, I will buy them and review them. But for now, that's all the information I'm going to provide. And there is no bundle currently available on the KKW website for all three fragrances. Again, there are some bundles available third party sellers. I'm mostly in minis and it's like $130 or more for the mini ones. So I did not get the pink diamond or the yellow diamond, but I did get the white diamond and I did get all three of the fragrances from the second Diamonds Collection or Diamonds 2, which was, which was launched in 2020. Now all the fragrances in the Diamond Collection are one ounce fragrances and they're all $40. Now like I said, I do have the white diamond or just the plain diamond scent, which was Kim's fragrance from the first Diamonds collection release. Looks like this. The bottles are shaped like gemstones. They're very pretty. And of course, because this is just a regular diamond, it is just a clear bottle. Let's go ahead and give this a smell. I'm expecting this to be clean. Um, maybe a little floral, a little fresh. That's just my off the top. Okay, not totally far off from what I was thinking. It smells fresh, it's definitely floral, it's definitely floral. More floral maybe than what I was expecting. There is a little bit of like that clean, like straight out of the shower scent, similar to kind of the body fragrance, and again, similar to the Gucci bamboo fragrance that I like, but it's much more floral for sure. That The clean sh shower fresh scent is like an undercurrent and the floral is the main note. Maybe a sandalwood or a cashmere wood. So this is described as a white floral bouquet, which is, you know, what is hitting me off the top. Now, I'll be honest, um, you could say white floral, you could say pink floral, you could say rainbow floral. I wouldn't know the difference straight up with you. Floral is floral. There are a couple floral notes that do stand out to me, like lilac, rose, and I think honeysuckle. Okay, so the top notes are green leaves, sugar, ginger, something called armoire or arm, armoise. I don't know how to pronounce it, but supposedly it's um, another word or a derivative of, of white wormwood. I can maybe maybe smell the green leaves a little bit. I think it's getting buried by the floral, but I think there is a little bit. I think that's where some of the freshness is probably coming from. The middle notes are ylang ylang, orange flower, and sampaguita. Probably butchering that, but that's another type of flower. And the base notes are white musk, white flower notes, solar notes, and coconut milk. So uh, that's probably where the creaminess is coming from. I think so far, out of the KKW fragrances, this might be my least favorite off the bat uh, for the floralness of it. The floralness isn't quite as balanced as I think the Gardenia scent was in the first 
video. Maybe a seven? Maybe a seven. Now the Diamonds 2 collection, like I said, I have all three of them. Um, and they are Ruby Diamond for Courtney, the Sapphire Diamond for Chloe, and the Emerald Diamond for Kit. Like I said, this was released in 2020, and you can get a bundle of all three of these scents for $110 on KKW site, or for $40 for each perfume, singularly. I'll start with Courtney's, the Ruby Diamond, because this is the only one I have the box for. So this is what the box is for this collection look like. The one for Kim's is green for the emerald and the one for the one for uh, Chloe's is blue for the sapphire. And gets pulled out the side like this and it sits in the box like this. So this is what the ruby perfume for Courtney looks like. For this I'm thinking maybe something warmer, a little spicier maybe like a little bit more of like a spicy peppery note or like a sexy, maybe like a Gucci Guilty kind of scent or a Jimmy Choo kind of scent. Um, or maybe even something a little more rich in terms of like gourmand and sweet. Yep, I can already smell it. We've already got something deeper, something darker, something more of a night scent. A little spicier, a little sexier. There's still floral in here, for sure. There's a little bit of a powderiness to it, which is surprising for a darker scent. But this is definitely more of like a night scent. Going out, going on a date, trying to be a little bit of a vixen. It's not overly sexy, it's not overly dark. Like I said, there's still a lot of floral to this. So there is still some lightness to it. I wish actually that there was less floral to it, but a little too strong now. And this is considered uh, an amber floral. So the top notes are red ginger. So I think that is the initial spiciness that you're getting, the darker spiciness. And it also has osmanthus, pink peppercorn. So again, there's the spiciness and ruby orchid accord. And the middle notes are rose, so I think that's where some of the powderiness is coming through. Pimento, again, some of the spiciness, and wild poppy. And the base notes are vanilla bean, like I said, there's a little bit of like a creaminess in there. Australian sandalwood and jasmine. Okay, so we did smell some of the notes that were in there. I think we actually kind of nailed that one pretty good, for the most part, for me, as somebody who's not great at this. I feel pretty good about that. Um, I liked the way it smelled initially better. The floralness to it and the spice to it is sharper rather than warm. I wish there was more warmth to it, which I don't usually say. With the, with the floral mix, it's too sharp. So it needs just something to round it out a little bit and let the spiciness shine over the floral. This is the most different one we've tried so far. It's not my favorite. I wanted to like this because it was so different, but it's not falling into that niche of like warmer, darker, sexier scents that I do like. I'd say this is also probably a seven, maybe 6.5. I'd have to wear it and see how it does on the skin. I like the red bottle though, it's really pretty. All right, and next we have Sapphire Diamond by Chloe. This is a beautiful blue bottle. That's a gorgeous dark deep blue. I'm expecting this to be maybe a cooler fragrance, um, a cleaner, or maybe like have some like oceanic or aquatic or um, air ozonic notes to it. Oops, I think I missed. There's something so familiar in this, a note in here that is so familiar. It's not aquatic, it's not ozonic, but it's not ringing. Maybe it's a citrus mixed with a chocolate and a pepper. It has to be something more specific than that. But that's like the, it is a little cooler. I, I just gotta look at the notes. So I'm really, 
I'm really not sure, but it's so familiar. I'm wondering, I'm thinking when I look at this, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah. Okay, so this is supposed to be a floral fruity gourmand. Okay, so there is sea breeze in this. Italian mandarin, so there's the citrus. And blueberry? Is that blueberry? This is so complicated. This is confusing me. And the middle notes are wisteria, Bulgarian rose, and panettone. Like that that bread that almost looks like a fruit cake that, that is like really popular around like Thanksgiving and Christmas. And then the base notes are whipped cream, vanilla, tonka bean, and sandalwood. So I guess I was kind of right. I talked about uh, that there was some sort of citrus. I said chocolate, but that was more like the whipped cream and the vanilla and the tonka bean, probably. Do any of you know, have any of you smelled this and been like, this smells exactly like? If so, put it in the comments, because I need to know. I'm not like, I don't hate it. I'm like, uh, what is this? But I don't, I don't think I like it. There's something about it that's turning me off. I think it's the combo. You can smell all of it, but it's too muddied at the same time. How? I don't know. I didn't make it. Ask them. It's not settling and mixing cohesively the way, the way I would want it to. Maybe it would on the skin. I don't know. But I think that's my least favorite. I'm going to give that a 6.5. Which again is a shame because that blue bottle is so gorgeous and Chloe is my favorite and I wanted to love it. Wanted to love it for you, Chloe, but you confused the hell out of me. I don't know. I don't know what I'm smelling. I don't know. Is that what you smell like? Probably smells weird on you, it, but it's confusing my nose. And the last one is Emerald by Kim. This is the third fragrance that comes in the uh, Travel Spray Purse Trio with the body fragrance and the Crystal Gardenia that um, we sprayed in the first video. So this is a 10 ml travel spray. I don't know if I said in the first video, but the purse trio is $45. So you get three 10 ml sprays for $45. So this is Kim's second fragrance. So hopefully I will like this more than the first one because it's green. My hopes, my hopes are for a green fragrance. I love green fragrances. I love green notes, basil, sage, grass, bay leaves, anything of that nature. I usually really like. So I'm hoping for a green based scent. It's gonna be floral, because they all are. Come on, Emerald. Be green like you're supposed to be. All right. Okay, there's some green notes. There's some sweetness. There's, say it with me now, floral. There's a clean this to this one it's similar to the white diamond i think i might like this one a little more than the white diamond because it's slightly less floral it's a little more dampened down by the other scents in this fragrance i'm not able to name them offhand because why would i so this one is just labeled as a straight floral but i somehow feel like this might be the least floral of all of them which is funny Okay, so the top notes are orchid, mandarin, and evergreen. Yay! So there are green notes in here like I was hoping. I can smell them a little bit. They're not quite as strong as I would like. And the middle notes are passion flower, violet leaves, and pear blossom. Benzoin, orange blossom, and hinoki wood. I don't know what hinoki wood is. I've maybe heard of it once before, but I don't know what it is. It's a wood. That's all I can really say about it. I think, you know, that's lending to the earthiness of this fragrance. The floral's coming out more now. Just what I wanted. Don't get me wrong, I know there's floral in like almost every single perfume. There is. But these could do with a little less, I think. Especially in these diamond perfumes. I think if they toned down the floral in these, some of them might have made more sense. Some of the other notes might have shown a little bit more. I think this is a 7.5, and I think the Emerald is my favorite from the three, from the four diamond perfumes we tried today. I would say green, 
then white, and I'm back and forth on the ruby and the sapphire. Um, Cause there's things I liked about both and things that I didn't like about both. I don't think they were fully successful. I don't think the notes in those perfumes complement each other the way they should have. They kind of more fought with each other and, and they didn't bring out the best in each other. They were too contrasting. They didn't blend well. Um, but yes, I'm going to say for now, without having worn them, say Emerald is my favorite just based off the first sniff. So that's it for part de, dos, two, whatever you want to call it, our KKW fragrance extravaganza. Stay tuned for parts three and four. If you liked this video, please hit the like button. Think about leaving a comment. And if you want to see parts three and four, subscribe. Otherwise, just come back in the next week or so. They should be there. Either way, I'm glad you joined us today. I hope you got some helpful information, maybe helped you make a decision about whether or not to buy these fragrances. Either way, thank you for coming, and I hope to see you guys again. Bye.